Hello, uh, my name is Alexander Martyshov and today I'm going to show you how to extend the basic functionality of Cucumber GVM and particularly implement your own uh, listener and make Cucumber use this listener. And uh, so first of all, let's briefly go through the basic uh, scenario. Let's implement the simplest test. Uh, so, as you know, to make this, we have to uh, add dependencies in our project, the just minimum dependencies. This is Cucumber Java and Cucumber G Unit. And also, uh, we have to include the Maven plugin Surefire to uh, to make Maven see see our tests and execute them. So after we have prepared all dependencies, we have to create the class which will serve configuration for our test execution. And don't forget to uh, to make this class to make class name have contain the test word. Otherwise, your Surefire plugin will not see your tests. So, um, yeah, first of all, you know, we have to put annotation around this and provide the class which implements a runner interface. Out of the box, we have the Cucumber class, and here it is. So the next step, we we have to put Cucumber options annotation to provide some particular options for our Cucumber. Uh, here is uh, the glue is the package where Cucumber Cucumber will look for step definitions, features. This is the uh, the place where Cucumber will look for feature files and uh, the plugin pretty exact this particular plugin is um, for yeah more or less beautiful console output so we are done with configuration and let's create the simplest feature file so where we have our Gherkin skin area so we have uh, several steps so I input 10, 20, then I summarize and verify this this sum and uh, yeah we have to implement these steps in um, Java class which is under IO Omar yeah and yeah here we have this simplest implementation so we have a collection which, which will collect our input parameters and then on the step when I uh, sum these parameters I will get the result and on, in the last step uh, I will uh, yeah, verify it. So yeah, I, I, I suppose this is pretty, pretty simple. And okay, let's let's implement the listener. And first of all, let's realize the problem we solve with listener. Um, listener is a class which have set of uh, methods, which are used by GUnit engine, and they are invoked in particular in particular time during execution. Let's open this base class this is a run listener and uh, implementations and this particular class I use by gunit yeah during test execution and which which methods do we have here yeah the names of methods are pretty self descriptive so test run started it means that this this method will be invoked before the test suit and for example test started 
this message will be invoked before each uh, line in Gherkin scan area. Test finished will be executed after each line, which after each executable line in Gherkin scan area. So to provide our own implementation, obviously we have to extend this class and provide our own implementation of these methods. Okay, we have this class. This is just a class which extends run listener. And let's just override several most maybe useful from my point of view, but yeah, it depends on the context. Let's implement only, only these two classes and provide just dummy, dummy implementation. Uh, let's put uh, the system output that we are on this in this uh, in this method and we can intercept execution of this method so we can put here everything we want um, okay we we have our own custom implementation then how to make cucumber use this implementation um, so, as, as we know, Cucumber uh, is just the implementation of a runner interface of GUnit. And uh, let's, let's see, yeah, Cucumber class, this is implementation of a runner. And um, there is one main entry point um, of this interface, this is method run. This is method run. And uh, if we provide our own implementation of this method run, we can input here some, uh, some our logic or add, for example, listener, what we are going to do now. How, do, how are we going to do it? We should we should create our custom runner, implement Cucumber, because we want to, to basically um, let this Cucumber implementation do everything. We don't want to override a lot. We just want to put some logic uh, just in, in the run method. And yeah, so we extend. Uh, Cucumber implementation and override runner class and we see that now before invocation of actually so before invocation of run itself method we are able to provide the listener to this run notifier and uh, so we we do it um, okay, once we have created our own, our own implementation of runner, which a little bit overrides uh, the out-of-the-box implementation for Cucumber, we should tell our configuration to use this custom implementation of runner. Okay. And uh, let's start. Let's run our test. Yeah, this is my previous attempt. And my clean test. And let's go. What we see now, we have the system out. Um, from the methods in listener. Uh, so this is invocation of test started method for scenario line of Gherkin. Then we have test started <coughs> invocation for line given i input 10. After this line we have invocation of method test finished given i input 10. 
yeah so clear and for each executable line in gherkin feature file we 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 have invocation of test started and test finished H how do i use uh, this possibility to extend listener so in 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 my work i i write a lot of blogs uh, about like, like I create a lot of entities and I log everything all my HTTP requests responses verifications and uh, but to distinguish between to to correlate uh, pieces of logs to some particular uh, Gherkin lines scenarios I implement this listener and I put the name the names of steps in this big log file and um, it, it looks quite useful and you need just to overwrite test started method and uh, you will see that uh, for example your your step has started then you will have a lot of logs which will relate to this step and then you will see the record that your next step has started and the next piece of logs will go and it yeah dramatically increase the readability of your logs so thank you very much i hope uh, i help to solve some of your, some of your problems